What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Moses, for those of you who don't know me. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you guys can get notifications. And also follow us on Instagram, uh, at fishinnation underscore. So don't forget that underscore when you're searching us on Instagram. Uh, David is with me today. What's up guys? And we're, it's a beautiful morning, it's October 31st. What a beautiful crisp morning. It's actually 27 degrees outside, and we are going walleye fishing. The walleye are pushing in closer to shore now. They're going up uh, through the streams. It's a very good time to go fish for them. So we're hoping we get some luck today. We got perfect winds, perfect weather. We're hoping we can give you guys some good footage. We'll see you on the lake, and let's go. We're pumped. Good morning guys, we are here. We are at the lake and I am gonna be fishing with this lure right here, with a swim bait with a heavy uh, jig head on it. I believe it's a uh, half ounce jig head. So it's a little heavy, it gets down to the bottom because it is, it is pretty deep here. Down, down the middle of this uh, little ravine here, it's about 15 to 20 feet deep. And I'll show you the brand that I use and I usually have Pretty good luck in this spot. It's a 360 GT search bait by Storm. So it's four and a half inches long, 11 centimeters. There's six pieces that come with it. I already got one left only, uh, cause they do tear these up and they're nice. I like them. We're gonna be using that today, mostly. And on occasion, I might switch over to these right here. They're a little bit smaller. These are the walleye angler. It's a 12 pack, three and a half inches long. I might go I might go to these if those don't work they're a little bit smaller so sometimes these walleye like the smaller stuff but we'll see we'll see how things go we're hoping we can slam some with this one right here and I got all my gear at Bass Pro so they do sell this stuff in Bass Pro shops first cast come on guys wish me luck I haven't been catching much fish in a while so I want to see some action here gonna wait for that to hit the bottom I'm just gonna slowly drag it right across the shore the bottom it's very calm right now it's beautiful we're gonna get the drone out we're gonna shoot some nice shots because it is gorgeous out in the lake this morning look at that duck perfect day to fish I see some boats out there foggy out there those guys will be doing good today it is chilly 27 degrees pulling in here as I mentioned earlier I am using my Shimano baitcaster reel and baitcaster rod combo I, I love it well not a combo but shimano the 151 slx dc so it's digitally chipped uh with a gsx tournament rod and this is a seven foot medium action rod with 10 pound fluorocarbon that's my setup here for walleye i like it i love the fact that this baitcaster it just it flies i mean this thing flies What's up, buddy? You cold? Huh? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. You cold? You kind of surprised. You surprised me. Took me. Caught me off guard. I'm like, where did he come from? <laughs> yeah. How was it going this morning? Good. Oh yeah. There you go. Hey. 
She went in. <laughs> uh, I just got here like 10 minutes ago. Nothing yet. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks. Got one? Oh man, finally the first fish of the day. Oh, I just got hooked up. Just got hooked up on something. Just got hooked up. Just got hooked up. Got him. We got one. Yep. Finally, guys. Finally. We just got hooked up. But we got one. We did it. We got one. I thought we were going to get skunked. I thought we were going to get skunked, and I just got a hit right by shore. We got them, guys. We switched their spot. We are fishing, actually, right on that corner over there, the pier. We came over this way. And I was starting to lose hope that it was not that good of a day, but we got one. We got this one, that's me meaning I'm pumped. It's already a good day, because we got that one. <sighs> I haven't caught one of these in a long time. We had some bad luck yesterday we came out here, but we did it. We got one. I'm gonna keep casting. We're gonna try to keep fishing. We're gonna measure this guy. We might take him home, cook him up. We'll see. We gotta check the size. The, the keeper limit here is 15 inches and three per person. So I haven't had walleye fillets in a long time. Wouldn't mind taking this one home, cooking them up. Let's go, let's go, we're pumped. All right, so like we said, the keeper size is 15 inches. So let's see what we got here. Uh, it's exactly 16. 16, so we, right. got our, we got ourselves a keeper right nice. here. Nice. We got a start for lunch. <laughs> yep. We gotta catch We gotta catch four more, at least I five. Gotta, I gotta switch my bait, I gotta use what he's using. Yeah. Cause I, not, not, even, not even a single bite. It's been really slow for me. Not a bad way to start. What I've been using, Guys, was this right here? It's a 360 GT bait, but not this head. I was using this jig head right here. I think it's a half ounce jig, I believe. Bass Pro Shop sells them. It's the heaviest one Bass Pro Shop was carrying in our Bass Pro Shops on this swim bait right here. So that's what I'll give to David. Actually, David, you want to try? You want to try this uh, yellow one here? I'll try whatever. I need, I need something new. <laughs> okay. It's been. We'll get you set up. I'm gonna give David a try this one, the one I was using earlier. I had really good luck with this one before, so set this one up. This is a four and a half inch. So it's a little bit bigger than the one I got right now. We're gonna keep fishing. Hopefully we can slam some more. Yeah, I hope it picks up Let's from go. here. I got some. I think. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we're on, we're on. <laughs> oh, let's go. I hope this is another keeper. All right, my first fish, but it sucks. It's not a keeper. I'm gonna let this guy go. There he goes. Okay, folks, we're gonna try the walleye angler three and a half inch swim bait. This one is a little different than the 360 bait because this one has this kind of a tail, so it plays more, it's much more uh, visible in the water when it's moving around, as opposed to a flat tail in the back. If you don't reel in a little quicker, then this is. This will just move the way it is, straight like that, without any action. So you have to keep jerking it or something just to get this tail going. So we'll take this one off. We'll try the other one. Just gotta get this head on here. So this is a little tricky. You gotta get this. You gotta get this done right. Bear with me here. Try over this. 
perfect. So this is what we're going to end up with. As you can see, it's already just moving, just standing there. So we're going to try this. I'm going to tie it. I'm going to tie it direct, not right onto the line. There we go. Nice little knot there. If you can see that. Pinch off the excess. We'll give this a shot. Got a little bit of a different color combination. Pink head and a chartreuse color body. We'll see. Usually I go with chartreuse everything, but I ran out. Gotta get some more at the store. If you can see in the water, the action. See that tail action right there. That right there might cause a little more attention to those walleye. That tail action right there. So we'll see. Only casts will be able to tell. Okay, guys. So we just left the lake. We ended up catching just the two walleye. One of them was a keeper. The other one was a little too small. So we let that one go. A little bit rough today. Not as not as good as we planned, but that's okay. We had a great day. And we did tell ourselves that we're gonna do a catch and cook regardless of what we caught. So if you guys do wanna watch the catch and cook on the second part of this video, stay tuned for that. But we're gonna try to keep coming here and we're gonna try to get after them again. Uh, today was just a bad day. Usually we can, we can catch 20, 30 of them within two, three hours, but today was just not that case. So, so stay tuned for the catch and cook and don't go anywhere. Okay guys, thank you for sticking around for this part of the video. We just got back from our fishing trip and we're about to start climbing up this one lonely wallet that we caught. Yeah, I know it was a tough day, but hey, it's okay. So I'll show you guys the simple ingredients and the steps I use to prepare uh, the fish, uh, specifically walleyes. Very simple, never have been much of a cook. So I just use a very simple way to do it and it works for me. But first, we gotta fillet up this walleye off camera and we'll get right back to you in a snap. So, we got our fillets cut up and I'll show you guys the ingredients we will be using. Uh, I have Old Bay right here as the main ingredient. This is my go-to. Breadcrumbs, these are unseasoned. I just happen to have these. I usually use seasoned ones. Uh, and I'm using eggs. You just wanna whisk your eggs here, make sure they're all set. And the first thing you wanna do is we're gonna put on some Old Bay. I also cut up the cheeks from the walleye. If you guys never had walleye cheeks, you're definitely missing out. Walleye cheeks are one of the best parts of the fish to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and get this seasoned up. Uh, make sure you get both sides. Once you have that done, next step is to get the eggs. Dunk them in some eggs, egg yolk. And then in the breadcrumbs, we'll put them off here to the side. These cheeks are phenomenal. I was kind of shocked at how good they were. I've heard people try them like, oh, never even thought about that. The cheeks off the walleye, but if you get a, we only have one walleye, but if you get a, you know, a bunch of walleye and you do the cheeks, they become a nice little appetizer. The egg yolk makes the breadcrumbs stick very nice to the fish. I'm gonna make a little bit of a mess in my wife's kitchen here. Hopefully she doesn't get too upset at me. So once you get this part done, we're ready to fry them up. Simple as that, and I'll show you. Uh, we're gonna be using canola oil, so let's head out and start cooking them. I decided to cut these chunks up, or where I cut them up into chunks. So you just wanna throw them in here. Don't burn yourself. these out should be all set okay got that done without hurting ourselves so here we go we're gonna give it a test how it tastes nice fresh walleyes that were cut today walleye I should say that was cut today ready to eat this should be enough for me and David for an appetizer all right guys thank you for sticking around for the end of this video if you guys liked this video 
Please watch our other videos. We have a lot of videos out. And make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram at fishination underscore. Me and Dave are gonna enjoy this fish right now. And we'll catch you next time. You recording? Mm -hmm. Just go on if you heard me. Okay, guys, thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> I already laughing because you're laughing. <laughs> Wait, can you squeeze? Delete it, delete it. <laughs> Hold on.